everybody to a new series that we're going to have on the channel on a Wednesday, my time, Anvil Saga. Uh, it's, it looks a really cool little game. So uh, we got given it by uh, the developer and I'm really appreciative of them. So I'm going to put their link down below to the game and stuff like that. Go and get it. It's really cool. Uh, and yeah, let's let's get into it. It looks amazing. Uh, it's right up my alley. I like these little like cartoony kind of pixely games and stuff like that. So as you can see, I haven't played it at all. So we're going in blind and we're going to play around and have some fun. Right. Story mode. Come on. Story mode. Ooh. Okay. What does that mean? Storyteller. Game mode for those who want to overcome the hardship of blacksmith life less the follow the plot more life less and follow the plot more my bad in this mode you will receive more gold and uh, prestige for orders okay this one game mode for those who are not afraid of difficulties in this mode you have a to carefully weigh each oh wait what <laughs> it's very early here in the morning <laughs> uh, in this mode you have to carefully way which orders to fulfill and which orders to refuse so as to not burn yourself out i like master smith that's cool being a smith isn't easy do you need a tutorial do we as you can see if you jump on the channel have a look at a couple of the shorts yes i do need the tutorial <laughs> right let's tutorial it up loading man He's loading. Yay, here we go. Oh, I'm Oscar. Well then, this is more like a barn than a home. Nothing to be done about it. At least the smithy itself is in decent condition. Awesome. Narrator. Cool. Control the camera by using the WASD or the arrow keys. To zoom in and out, use the mouse wheel. Oh, I love this. This is cool. Oh, and it's all like a side scroller, which is cool. So that reminds me of Two Kingdom Two Crowns, uh, and the new one, which I want to play, but I don't have the money for it at the moment, is uh, oh, Sons of Valhalla, which is cool. I'll link that below as well, which is quite cool. Uh, continue. You will be managing a medieval smithy, and the main source of income for a smithy is, of course, his orders. Let's open the shop for business and accept your first order. To do that, press the sign next to the store with the LMB. Sorry, what? This one? Continue. Oh yeah, cool. Your first customer. He looks dodgy, but he wants something. Good. He wants a shoe. Okay. Let's take a look at the order. Uh, there's, uh, there you'll find the, the item, the resources needed for this creation and the reward accept the order by pressing the green check mark in the orders ui oh. people won't wait forever they'll leave if their patient runs out patience runs out before the order is complete awesome all your orders will appear in the order feed at the top awesome uh, accept another order by pressing the green check mark in the orders ui then watch the feed okay Right, so it gets put on the end. What the heck is that? I have no idea. Um, when working on several orders at once, you can set their priorities. Press the LMB to raise uh, the order's priority and right click to lower it. There can be five priority levels total. Orders with the same priority are worked on based on the remaining time. The less time remaining and the, the more the Smith will focus on, okay? Raise the orders property with the LMB uh, or drag and drop the order card. So you can go like this, awesome, or you can just click it and it clicks forward. Okay. <sighs> right click on the anvil to move the character there and start forging. Right click. Yay. Come on, Oscar, let's roll. Okay. So he is literally like and this must be yep time left to complete order that that's pretty standard awesome oh the smith spends resources and receives gold after completing the order once the product is complete it is automatically given to the customer lovely he needs a breather always need a breather after you've got a mask 
shouldn't be wearing a mask out in this heat. Uh, orders are made with ingots. Ingots are smelted from ore which can be mined or purchased. You can mine in this! This is so cool! You don't have to access, uh, you don't have access to a mine yet. Oh. Uh, so let's order some ore. Yeah, sure. Open the merchant's door. Oh, I was going to say, where is he? There. And then we are going to get some and we are going to buy. I presume that's what you do. Yes. All goods from the store are delivered by a courier. You'll have to wait for a bit before he arrives. In the meantime, you can smelt the rest of the ores into ingots. One piece of ore is good for one ingot. The smith uh, will smelt ingots uh, one after another until they run out of ore. Okay. So hit the right click. Lovely. You're being so patient. I, am, I apologize. I'm just learning. I'm a beginner. Uh, now complete the second order. Yeah, you have more than enough ingots. Okie dokie. Hurry before the customer gets tired of waiting. Ah, go. Um, it's coming. Just hold your horses. Which is what you need the shoe for. Awesome. Don't know what the green thing was. Uh, you can spend the money you've earned on upgrading the smithy and building new rooms. Cool. Before building, let's close the stall. Closing the stall tells your customers that no new orders are accepted, but those who are waiting for their orders will stay. Close the stall with the LMB. Lovely. This could use some, uh, wait, what could use some furniture? This could use some furniture and an annex for the kitchen. Okay. Enable build mode. How do we do that? Oh, right here. Little hammer. Oh, and then we build a room. Oh, can we go this way? Do, 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 do. Click. Uh, what are we doing? Build a new room. Okay, so we need a wall. Uh, sorry. What have we? What? Roof type. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, what is that one? Hold on. I'm playing around. So this one is a slight slant to that side, which kind of marries up to this one, which is lovely. Don't know why you would do that side. That doesn't look nice at all. And then what's this? A straight roof. That's if you want to keep going. So this is like the cutoff. I think I'll do a straight roof. Okay. Lovely. Some nice big tarps. Didn't know they had tarps back then, but all right. Uh, each room's constructions takes time. You'll have to wait for the builder to finish the work. You can purchase the furniture right away. Let's set up your first living room. Uh, you'll need a bed, a table, and a chair. Bed, table, chair. Right. Oh, here we go. Buy new furniture. We need a bed. Oh, man, look at this. Okay. Uh, right. We're going to put the bed. Hmm. Maybe we'll put the bed by here. Okay. And then... Table. Put the table here, or maybe we put the table by the door, and then we'll get a chair, chair on this side. Can you rotate it? Quit this mode. No, no rotating. Is that a rotate? Use the room. Nope. Do right click. Nope. Right click stops it. Awesome. Uh, a wooden chair. What's the difference between these two chairs? Wooden chair sits on this. Uh, sitting on this might hurt your back and ass. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, a wooden armchair with a backrest. Sitting on this, you might feel like a monk. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to do that. My clickiness. Uh, right, we're going to do this one. Aha, excellent. Now I have a place to sleep. We can do the kitchen later. Now I can bring my wife and son over. Lovely. Didn't know you were married. Ooh, black screen. 13 years later. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let me just take a drink. Ah, lovely. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's father. That's it. Hold the hammer tight. Swing your arm up and strike the blank. I wonder if this is Oscar. I can't. I'll never become a master like you. Listen, when your mother and I came to France, we didn't have a single penny on us. Nothing but fire in the eyes and my old instruments. Really? Not a single penny? Not more than a couple of... Th thralers? 
to be sure. Thrallers? I don't know. This is Arthur, the hero of the story and your main character. Wait, I thought Oscar was my main character. Okay, never mind. Since childhood, he's been helping his father in the forge, but he's pretty good in any kind of craft. We have a lot of work today, son. Go flip the sign. We're open. Okay. Uh, hint. Left click on the sign to start accepting orders. Lovely. Look, it's Finley. His whole family comes to the fair every year. The young lady next to him is his daughter, Olivia. Where, where, where are they? Olivia, awesome. There she is. Uh, is it the merchant from Glasgowney? Yes. Judging by the look on his face, he's happy with my forge. There goes Jean Jacks Jr. Ugh, can't stand that guy. That must be this guy. There, there. His father is a respectable craftsman. Jean uh, isn't too slow either, though he didn't inherit his father's talent. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Learn how to conduct business because that's what he excels at. Oscar, are you here too? How are you faring? Thanks for the instruments and the har um, harness uh, is also perfect. This is Oscar. Right. Glad to see you at the fair. What brings you here, Finley? I'd like to order a small trinket, a brooch for my beloved daughter. Uh, do this for me, would you? Sure, give me some money and I'll do it. Uh, it's a piece of cake, right, son? You got this. Uh, I'm glad to see you're both here, Arthur and Oscar. Why don't you order the brooch from my father? His shop is just over here. Hey, try and steal my business. For a lady as charming as the fair Olivia, I could have even given you a discount. Thank you, Jean. But Oscar and I go through hell and high water together. Any orders I have are only for him. Ha ha ha, get out of here. Well, that's how Arthur does it then. Uh, what are we doing? Accept order. Awesome. Sometimes you'll have to make a choice that will affect events further in the story. You'll see one of them now. Each option has a chance of success and failure. Study them carefully. You won't be able to go back on your choice. Right. So. Uh, the merchant ordered a brooch for his beautiful daughter. My father brought a jewel for the Baron's ring with him. Could I could possibly use it. Make a simple brooch. Use a fake jewel. Use the jewel. What do we want to do? This is the decision. Okay. So, let's say, she does look lovely, uh, let's use the jewel. Uh, so what happens? Oh, I decide to use the jewel when making the brooch. The jewel belongs to the Baron, but Olivia will certainly notice me. Okay, basic success chance is 70%, skill level bonus 5%, equipment bonus that, and then Olivia will be delighted to receive such a brooch. Okay, and then this one. It would be stupid of me to use the Baron's uh, jewel for decorating the brooch. I'll make a simple one. Basic success 60, level 5 for 5. And then father will be proud of me. He always taught me honesty. Right, make a fake jewel. A little trick will come in handy. Uh, I won't have to face the Baron's anger while adding something a little extra to the brooch may please Olivia and her family. Olivia might understand that this is a fake. It will be awkward. Less chance. All right, let's make a simple brooch awesome all right go hard make the brooch i think it's done is that all right good lad here yeah, it's all done it's lovely isn't it oh is it ready excellent you've done rather well young man yes he's a real star enjoy wearing it we would have made a better one a better brooch though arthur might have ruined the materials so at least there's that something Hello, blacksmith. Still working hard? Yes, more or less. My son's helping me a lot. He's even much better than me at some things now. Ah, he really looks like you. Now. Now then. Well, everybody looks like everybody. Like, look at those eyebrows. Seriously. Even the, even Olivia with the eyebrows. Uh, now then, will you make me a ring? We'll do our best. Get on it, son. Uh, good day. Uh, 
esteemed baron if you'd give the order to my father uh you'd already have the new ring i'm aware of your father's skills as a craftsman however oscar can do the same work for half the price and guarantees quality lost the jewel make the jewel encrusted ring for the baron uh, no matter what kind of person the Baron is, I will do my work due diligently so that I won't have to apologize to anyone. Uh, right. Alright, we'll do that one. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, is it done? Is it really done? It's ready, sir. Here. The esteemed, the esteemed Baron picked such a fine jewel that even you, Arthur, would be hard to press to ruin it. Thank you, Jean. Perhaps uh, you'll manage the same on your own one day. Oh, wow. Not bad. Good work. You're a chip off the old block. Good lad. Thanks. It's great to have your work appreciated. Sure it is. Have a good day. And a great time at the fair. Looks like it's time for us to head home. Close the stalls, huh? All right. Press the sign. Stop customers coming. Wait, I did that. Well, let's go, son. That was a quick fair. Very quick fair. Think about me and Olivia. Can we be friends? We are just not their equals, son. But in a merchant's family, a, a, gloom, a groom is judged by how fat his purse is. There. Uh, cheer up. Everything is in your hands. My father's words were no surprise to me. Um, however, the sincere smile and charming eyes of the merchant's daughter made my heart ache. Mm. The fair was coming to an end, so we gathered our belongings and set off for home. It was the last fair I got to visit with my father. The disease hit him hard. Wow, that's, that's pretty brutal. Uh, but even to his last breath, he did his best to transfer his uh, knowledge and skills to me, even when he could barely hold a hammer. Uh, I had no choice but to make my father proud and become a decent apprentice. Awesome. Uh, many years had passed since Arthur's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, many years had passed since Arthur's first fair, and he spent them learning the craft of his father. When Oscar fell terribly sick, the young blacksmith was overwhelmed with sadness. Right. Oscar instructed his son to bury him in the, his motherland. So after his death, Arthur took to the road, leaving the forge to its fate. In England, uh, he fulfilled Oscar's dying wish, but he, I love how he left his hammer, but he couldn't shake off the abandoned forge out of his head. Arthur decided he needed to save the forge his father had put so much effort into and return to France. In his absence, the forge had fallen into complete disarray, but Arthur was teeming with strength and ambition, and so begins the Anvil Saga. Dun 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 dun! This is very cool. Liking the story behind it. And I'm liking the, the like pixel graphics and the, it, it's a very well done game. I like it. Right, narrator. You have a small house and a forge at your, wait, but this is Oscar. What? At your disposal. It's not much, but still better than starting from scratch. Here's your glorious path to wealth and a heart of your beloved, uh, beloved girl. Your, your beloved girl begins. Okay, so now I'm Arthur. Man, that flicked around pretty quick. But all this lies uh, far ahead and now, and for now, kindle the forge. Time to blow the dust off my father's anvil. Uh, let's see what I still remember. Awesome. Turn it on. Complete five orders. Lovely. Ooh, I've got a big long... Oh, see the kitchen? I made that. The door's missing though, but that's right. Uh, hello, hello, you drunk pooper person. Cool, let's let's do it. Hey, green happy smiley face. Awesome. Uh, sure, we can do a chain as well. I wish I could find a 
few coins. Hard them, there we go. Just give me a couple of days. Oh, in, a, in debt. Oh. Maybe I should have, uh... Your character has received a new trait. Characters can receive negative and positive traits. Each affects the character's behavior in a specific way. Carefully read trait descriptions and pick the best assignment for your worker. I'm running out of ingots. I should make some more at the smelter. Send Arthur to the smelter by right clicking on it. Excuse me, sir. I need, I need one more, and then I can do this. I got enough for that. Not have enough for that. Uh, we need to buy some from the merchant, do we? Yes, buy. Go. Oh. And let's get into it. Go, go, go. So we've got a four. And I'm going to cancel that one. I'm going to check the order. And we're going to do this one. Okay, awesome. I'm running out of ore again. Time to dig a shaft. What? This is cool. Ah. The gas bug that's coming to my room. Go away. All right. Sooner or later. You'll start expanding your forge, building more rooms, and even digging deep into the earth. Each forge needs a consistent supply of ore. You can purchase it from the merchant, but it's much more efficient to mine it yourself. Let's dig a shaft right into your cellar. To expand and upgrade the forge, open the construction menu or hot key cube. Right. Let's go build a room. And what are we, this, ooh, this one here, build a room. Price, uh, roof type. Yeah, that's fine they're all the same late each room's construction takes time you'll have to wait for the builder to finish their work okie dokie oh i'm so sorry sir i don't have oh wait is this the merchant hey nice thank you good sir i don't know why you're in my house get out of my house go on all right so i'm going to accept this one Uh, I'm going to say probably no to that one. Sorry. Uh, we're going to smelt some more. And then I might close the shop. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one as well. And that one. Why not? Hey, nice. Okay, and then I got to... Should be able to do that one as well. Awesome. Okay, so I've got to manage. So they just keep coming. If I don't turn it off, they, they just keep coming. So. Oh, wait, but what about this person? Excellent. Now choose the type of the new room. Each room has its own functions and requires specific furniture. Right. A room that doesn't have a function or re required furnace will remain inactive. Uh, furnace. Furniture will remain inactive. An exclamation mark will notify you of that. Okie dokie. Press the exclamation mark to choose a type of room and build the furniture. Right. Go. Right. What do we got to do? We have got to build a warehouse. A mine. Allows you to mine ore. Um, go up. Did that work? Mine entrance. Ventures, mine entrance. But okay, uh, we're gonna put that over here. And then what else does this mean? Uh, ore chests. Not that one. Not that one. Right, ore chest. Small chest. Small chest for putting something in. Uh, it will fall apart. Or I've got enough gold for that. Sweet. Okay. Some. And how much do I need for that? I need three. Go! Go, Arthur or Oscar or whatever your name is. Go! I'm going to call you Larry. Just saying. Go, 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 Larry, go! Woohoo! All right. Lovely. All right. You just 
you just do that okay so what do we do now um do we go down here do we do this ourselves we must do oh very cool very very cool okay awesome so he's gonna go is what does he bring back uh, while we're waiting for arthur or oscar or larry or whatever his name is to come back uh we are getting to the point where we are getting to 250 subs and that is my goal uh and then my next goal sorry so i'm at 146 i think at the time of this recording if you haven't subbed and you love the content and you want to be along for the ride click that sub free you don't have to do anything uh other than watch the content that's it that's well you don't have to watch the content but you know what i mean like oh i'm sorry are you oh you're hungry right uh yeah just um come along for the ride and you'll be notified when i upload new videos cool <laughs> uh right we're gonna try and make videos as well uh around the 30 minute mark so that you guys are not like here for hours on end and we are probably coming up to that so what i am going to do is i'm going to put a hold and a cut in here and mr arthur here is going to do one more mining thing and then we'll go up and we'll smith them in the furnace and then we may put him to bed i think that's what you're supposed to do oh you can speed things up though lovely and then we will go up here. All right, go up here. Awesome. So we now have seven ore, right? And we can smith them all. So what we'll do is we'll quickly do that, and then we'll put a cut in. And you guys, let me know with the likes and everything like that. We're gonna start doing this as a regular Wednesday or Saturday. Don't know yet. Well, I'm gonna put it out on Wednesday. But if you guys want it on the weekends, then that will be fine as well. Hop into bed have a sleep awesome i will leave it there you guys let me know if you liked it this is going to be such a cool little uh little series it's going to be great and i appreciate the developer for uh, flicking me the key because this is going to be awesome all right you guys have a good rest of your night or day depending on where you are or when you're watching this and i will see you in the next video bye